Let me introduce you to my newest version of my bench mount pressure tester that can allow you to test these Bosch fuel injectors. These are mechanical injectors, not electric in these older Mercedes-Benz that we all love to work on. We're talking about fuel injectors from the late 1950s right up to the early 1990s. Now there's a couple different types, so I've had to come up with two different versions of this tester. The tester itself is basically the same as the one we use to test diesel fuel injectors, but we've made a few modifications. Number one, you have to have a different gauge. Notice here, this is only a 100 PSI gauge, and when I'm testing Diesel fuel injectors, I have to have 3,000 PSI, so there's quite a difference in release pressure between these early gas injectors and the diesel injectors. I've also had to modify my capture tank. I think this is the safety heart and soul of using this tester, is having this capture bottle which exits fumes all the way out my shop out the window. Don't just take the hose and put it 10 feet away, but take this hose and put it out a window and shut the window because you do not want to be breathing these fumes. Now, I'm not using gasoline, never, I'm going to repeat, never use gasoline when testing. This is a mix of diesel fuel and automatic transmission fluid, which works just fine to get an idea of how well your gasoline injectors are performing. And if they're not performing well, you can take them through the cleaning process, which I explain in the instructions that come with my testers. So let me explain the different type of injectors right now. You have these right here, which are called CIS fuel injectors, constant flow fuel injectors that Bosch introduced in Mercedes-Benz's right in the mid 1970s. And you notice here, I have a gauge that reads up to 100 PSI. These spray constantly. They don't pop like you find with the earlier mechanical fuel injectors on the gas engines or the diesel engines. So you need this low pressure gauge to be able to monitor how they're spraying and how well they're spraying. Now, one of the interesting things I found is the threads on this early CIS injector, which was produced from the mid 70s up to the mid 80s. It screws right on to the same fitting that we use for the diesel injectors, but you have to make a little modification and I explained that in my instructions. But when you get into these later CIS injectors, notice they don't thread on to this fitting. So I've come up with a special adapter, which is explained in my kit, to test the later model CIS injectors as well as the early ones. And then over here, you see what I call the early mechanical fuel injector that was found on those Mercedes Benzes from the late 50s up until about 1972. But notice also that this screws onto the same fitting without any modification at all. So all those early MFI fuel injectors can be easily tested with this tester. But the problem is 100 PSI is not enough because these generally release pressure at about 240 to 260 PSI. So in that kit, I include a 600 PSI gauge, which will allow you to test these early fuel injectors. So it's not possible with just one kit. What I found is if you put the 600 PSI gauge on to test the CIS injectors, you're reading in the low range here and you just don't have the accuracy that you have with the 100 PSI gauge. That's why I've split the kit up. So when you order one of these kits from us, you have to determine what type of gasoline fuel injectors you have, and then you have to order the appropriate kit that will work on your particular car. But like I say, I'm gonna show you here in a minute why you want to test your gasoline fuel injectors. Unlike this diesel fuel injector that you see here, these gas injectors are not rebuildable. There are no replacement parts for them and you cannot adjust the pressure on any of these MFI or mechanical fuel injected fuel injectors or the CIS injectors that you see here. But it is possible to test them for operation and then sometimes cleaning them thoroughly can bring them back to life. So I'm going to demonstrate why it's important you have a tester and why it is important you take your gasoline engine mechanical fuel injectors, we're not talking about electric here, and get them on a tester and see how they're spraying. You're going to get to see the pressure when they spray, you're going to get to see the pattern, and you're also going to see whether or not they leak. But sometimes you're going to get a real bad one and you're going to say, wow, I'm glad I caught that because with an injector like I'm going to show you here, imagine the fuel that you're burning. 
So watch this one, because this one is really bad. So I'm going to look at the 100 PSI gauge here and see how far it comes up before it starts to spray. And look at this. <laughs> it's not even coming up to 10 PSI. And look at that. It's just leaking, pouring out. And it's not holding pressure at all. It's dripping. So this particular fuel injector, by the way, it came out of a 78 450 SL. You could have all kinds of starting issues. You could have it leaking down and flooding the cylinders overnight. So when you try to start it, you've got an excessively rich mixture. You're going to have smoke, smoking problems, and you're going to have terrible fuel economy. So I can't stress it enough. You've got one of these old Mercedes Benzes with mechanical gasoline Bosch fuel injectors like you see here. You really need to test them to see how they're performing. And like I say, you may be able to help some of them by going through the cleaning process I show you in my instructional videos.